So, Laurie, the luxury experience is evolving all the time. What new can we expect to see from Everett in the short to medium term? I think in the short to medium term, you'll see even further developments in in-flight entertainment. We're currently testing live television, and I don't think it'll be very long before you'll be able to watch your favourite sporting events at 40,000 feet, whether it's a premiership football game or a Formula One race. So that, that's happening. It's going to be in place in the fleet within two or three years now. That's fantastic. What about in the slightly longer term, say in the next t 10 years, will, will things change enormously or will it be a process of gradual evolution? It'll be gradual evolution. The big jumps have been made. Unfortunately, we'll never see Concorde again or its successor, certainly not in my lifetime. So air travel won't get any faster, but I think it will get more convenient as we get better at getting our customers on and off aircraft quickly and through terminals quickly with many more electronic uh, gadgets. Can I ask you one final thing? You can control what happens in flight on the aircraft uh, and you can control what happens in the airport in, in the Emirates, of, of, of course, but when you land in the UK, for example, can, how much can you do to, Im, to make the, the experience more fitting for a luxury passenger, say at Heathrow? Well, all our first and business class passengers at Heathrow will get fast track immigration cards, which will hopefully speed up the immigration process for them. And they'll get their first and business class baggage delivered first. And we'll always have people in the baggage hall, in the immigration queues, to try and get those premium passengers through quickly.